Okay, here we got a couple of guys doing cool cuff starter kits. Let's see if we can learn from these guys. Got Gary of LaSalle, Colorado on the right doing the traditional cool cuff starter kit. Only cost $60. That's a wholesale price. They used to retail for over 100 when I let the suppliers sell them. Now I give them to you guys at their price. Hooray, we're taking over. 60 bucks gets you enough cool cuffs to do 200 feet of hose. Uh, you can see he's starting with his silver bullet, dual two inch ports on the back, two inch on the front. And one of the parts that comes with the starter kit is the starter cuff, which is a male two inch. Comes with a clamp. And you would slide that on the front of the silver bullet, clamp it down. Now you're following the fireman's rule, which says all the males point towards the job. When he gets, uh, let's see, starting here, we got the starter and we got, we got a female. All the females point towards the truck, right? And cool cuffs getting him out, 200 feet, male swivel for going from two inch hose to a two inch tool. You know, Rotovac, Wand, RX, whatever you're using. Here's the two to one and a half reducer set. That'll get you down to a one and a half whip hose or preferably uh, use the little reducer insert here. You just thread that into the front of the reducer and it converts you to a one and a half inch ID. Now you can use your one and a half inch wand. Uh, he getting him a bundle of liners and a front lid gasket, gasket and some cool cuff lube to finish out Gary's order. And then over here we've got Ken of uh, Westport Mass doing something similar. He's buying just five cool cuffs, kind of making up his own cool cuff starter kit, I guess. Maybe he's adding a second van. I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, but that's going to be enough for 250 feet of two inch hose. And his reducer cuff out on the end lets him step down to a whip hose. I'd prefer to see that uh, he'd get one of these reducer inserts involved like comes with the starter kit because that allows you to step down to a one and a half inch tool bypassing the whip hose which is a real robber of vacuum a lot of guys don't know that till they take it off um, but guys who know they don't use whip hoses remember airflow is a function of the cross-sectional area of what we're flowing through in our case vac hose the area of a Hose is the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. Pi is a constant, r is a variable, r is half the diameter, you square it. You're talking about an exponential function, right? The radius. Doesn't take much increase or decrease in the radius of the hose to cause an exponential increase or decrease in suction. The best we've got is dual two inch hoses, a la the silver bullet. You can't get any better than that. It doesn't cut down on suction hardly at all. The next best is a single two and a half. The next best is a single two, which isn't really that good. And that's what the industry is based on, two inch hose, and it's not very good. No, it's terrible. And one and a half is even worse than that. All of the CFM testing we did years ago confirms all of this. Dual twos is best, single two and a half, second best. Two inch, not that good, and one and a half, awful. One and a half always showed up at the bottom of the list when we sorted on CFMs for a given hose run, okay? Or for a series of hose runs. It always came in dead last. So I'm always telling guys, get rid of your whip hose. Yeah, but the, my two inch hose is so stiff. That's because you're buying your two inch hose from a regular supplier. N hardly any of them, I, in fact, I only know of one, stocks little better vac hose. This is the hose that evolved from cool cuffs. We needed a better vac hose. We already had a better hose cuff, but now our hose had to be improved on. Amflex stepped up, modified their hose to work with cool cuffs, and they went beyond that, making it better and better until one day I said, let's just call this the little better vac hose, because it is. It's got an inner liner of titanium dioxide, which radiates heat inward away from the body of the hose, so we can use a softer polymer for the plastic of the hose itself. Any carpet cleaner who knows vacuum hose is gonna pick little, little better every time, guaranteed. So why don't suppliers have it? Because they can't double their money. So it ain't about you guys, it's about them. 
If they can't make enough money, they don't do it. I don't double my money on a little better. I don't know anybody selling a little better doubling their money. That's not the goal. The goal is to give you guys better suction so you get better dry times that'll separate you from the guys who refuse to use it, continue using their one and a half whip hoses, continue to get the worst dry times so that the guys who do invest in the good stuff that are trying to get better dry times can point out the window, look lady, look what I'm doing. Look at those dual hoses. That's me. I'm the only guy in town doing that. Well, anymore, there's a whole bunch of guys doing dual two-inch hoses because it really helps. So I would hope Ken would get my most important cool cuff, this simple $3 reducer insert, screw it into his reducer, allow him to go to his one and a half inch wand. He doesn't have to go to a two inch wand to get improved dry times. It helps, but it's not the major factor. The major factor is getting rid of the skinny, wimpy hose. That's one and a half inch hose, guys. Get rid of it. Go all two inch, dual two inch, two and a half. No more one and a half. Okay, the reducer insert will free him up to use all two inch hose. All he's got to do is buy one fifty footer of little better vac hose and he'll see. I've had guys tell me my two inch vac hose is more flexible than their one and a half. That's what the supply world has done to you guys. They're only selling what makes them money. Screw them. Screw them. Get the stuff that helps you grow your business. Two inch all the way, dual two for a portion of that run. Two and a half is really good if you can put up with how stiff that hose is. Unfortunately, a bigger hose like that is just going to be stiff, but it's very tough, durable, and it flows air great. All right, you can start with a cool cuff starter kit, which, by the way, comes with a reducer insert. So you finally can get away from your whip hose, get in a little better if you want. You don't have to. But enjoy the features Cool Cuffs gives you. Locking, swiveling, long life, durability, leak proof cuffs. Or make your own starter kit. Just buy what you need to fill in the blanks. But get away from those leaky vinyl cuffs and the straps that hold it all together. That's crazy. Okay? Thanks, guys. Okay, here's an interesting order. Guy doing his own thing a little bit. Getting a 25 foot of a little better vac hose, orange, one and a half inch. Uh, he's getting 50 footer of Parker Parflex with a Joe valve on it, regular gaiters. And he's getting female QDs the, uh, without the QD cover on it. That works. And he's getting four stainless gaiters. Uh, this is Eric Bacon Fiber Fresh in San Pedro, California. Thanks, Eric. Okay, here's a nice one from Renew Systems, that company I was telling you about up in Illinois. They're moving and shaking. If you're looking for a good opportunity, pack your bags, get on a plane, go work for those people. They seem to be got it figured out, growing fast, buying all the right gear. Look here, looks like they're gearing up another truck. Four stair climbers. Old mess of cool cuffs. They already got a bunch of swivel sets. See, she only got one in here, but a bunch of male swivels, starter cuffs, barbed reducers. They're two and a half guys. Got them some cool cuff lube, Joe valve, little tub silicone rebuild kit, ultimate soft touch, um, brass strainer assembly, three top hats, whole bunch of stubby check valve jet screen assemblies. Some stainless males, some green ultimate QDs, a wash downer, jet cleaning tool, whole mess of corner guards, and some more red hose. I still got to run uphill and get them some more corner guards, make them a supply hose back up for their wand, and I think then they'll be set for this next truck. Seriously, hop a plane, go work for Renew and make some serious money. Oh, they're getting a stair tool too. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.